When you look to where you are right now and to think to how everything started in September, Fargo, Blaine High School, back to Fargo again, how would you gauge your development this year and what was emotionally, I guess, a peak and valley type of year and now here you are waiting for Friday night and what could be really good news? Yeah, I mean, it's been a year of ups and downs, I'd say. Um, it's been a lot of fun going through all this process it's with like uh, the interviews and stuff like that and going back to high school was awesome and then going back to Fargo after the season was great too and I thought it was a great year and I'm really excited for Friday night. And you look at your season in high school when you were able to go back, how important was it in terms of getting your confidence back and then building toward the next step? Yeah, I mean it was, it was uh, really important to me. I mean just going back to high school, scoring twice a game and then going back to Fargo was uh, where I was maybe averaging a point a game. Um, it, was, uh, it, it was good, yeah, it was uh, definitely a test for me, it was good. Provide us a perspective of Minnesota State High School hockey and just how crazy things are when you get toward the spring and getting an opportunity with Blaine as you did. Yeah, I mean, it was awesome. Uh, I mean, a lot of media. Um, it was really cool to uh, express and it was just, it was awesome. You know, you look down a list and I, I saw your size and I'm thinking, Nick Bukestead, and lo and behold, you look back at high school alumni in the Blaine Bengals. He went there. Do you know, Nick, if you had a chance to intermingle with him and at least maybe tap into what he's been able to do? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, we talk probably twice a week. He's uh, my brother's best friend, actually. So, um, I mean, we, we hang out a lot. He's hanging out with my brother a lot. So we're staying in contact, and he, he's really good with me. And uh, the opportunity to skate as well as you do for a big man, where did that find its beginnings? Uh, I mean, just, I don't know, it just came natural, I guess. Um, just always been a really good skater. And you look forward to Minnesota Duluth, correct? Yes. And uh, Dominic Toninato, a Toronto prospect, and uh, just a great situation with the Bulldogs up mm -hmm. there. What attracted you there to that campus? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, basically the coaching staff. Uh, I love Duluth. been going up there ever since I was little for out-of-town hockey tournaments, and it's been awesome. And then Toninato, he's really good with me, too. Uh, I was just there last week, and he's kind of taking me around and stuff, so it was, he was nice, nice guy.